Uh, brethren, I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a joy and a blessing for us to share the word of God for our spiritual nourishment. Today, I want us to share on the issue of death, especially when death knocks at the door. When we read about the many deaths in Italy, America, South Africa, and other countries in the world, at first the problem of COVID-19 sounded as if it was far away until a time when the World Health Organization declared that COVID-19 caused by the coronavirus has become a crisis. Then it came to our door and now it is right in our midst. To date, our over 52 people have been confirmed with this challenge and we thank God for the medical personnel who are taking good care of our brothers and sisters. When we read in Isaiah chapter 38, there's a man called Hezekiah. Hezekiah fell sick and he had a message from God through a prophet. Isaiah chapter 38 verse 1. In those days Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. You can imagine that message if you are grappling with sickness and then somebody comes, does that message give you any encouragement? But what did Hezekiah do when he received the message that he had to prepare his life because he was to die and not to recover? The Bible says that Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord and said, Please, O Lord, remember how I have walked before you in faithfulness and with a whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Brethren, Hezekiah turned to the Lord and prayed. Whom do you turn to at a critical moment in life. Do we now turn to politicians, scientists, religious leaders? Maybe all of us are overwhelmed, but the good news, a great encouragement is here that as Ezekiah turned to God, we too must turn to God, take our fears and cares to the Lord, for he cares for whatever is around us. I pray that you may take comfort in these words as you continue to look at the Lord as we grapple with the issue of this crisis in the world. God bless you and watch over you. Stay home and stay safe. <music>